Morning everybody, Jason Hollis Farms. Got the 98 Dodge out today, got her pulled up. Fixing to give her a bath. I took the uh, dog box off of it a while ago. It just got two bolts in it, that thing. We made it to where we can take it on and off. She needs a bath. Fixing to see how good she shines when we get done. Okay, one thing before we get started, I was going to mention, y'all make sure y'all watch the whole video because I will most likely answer any question that, that uh, y'all might have. So, make sure y'all watch the whole video. Alright, got the top and the back of the bed and the back cleaned up. This thing ain't hardly been used, I'm telling you. It ain't had a lot done with it since I got it. Wasn't much done with it before then. All right, got the passenger side done. She's, she's shining. Got the front done, the hood done. Move on to the driver's side. All right, y'all, got this side. Got her all cleaned up. Boy, I tell you what, it ain't because it's mine, but this is a nice truck. Super clean job. That was an easy wash job. It's just been sitting there for a while. She's clean. Alright y'all, so I pulled her over here in the shade. And let's go over a few things. This is a 98 12 valve Cummins. Dodge extended cab. I'm gonna try to go over as much as I can where I don't forget it. I hadn't done anything to the inside, this thing just stays clean. I've got to get this cover back over the fuse panel, it's up there on the dash. No big deal, I just had never done it. Got a brake controller in it, of course, it is a four wheel drive. I looked a long time, it's got one rip in the seat right there, as far as I know, that's all it's got. Oh, I looked a long time for this truck, and if I'm not mistaken, and I think I'm right, this is the first year they came out to where the doors, suicide doors opened, and the last year of the 12 valve. Oh, it took me a long time to find this truck when I find it. The uh, rear view mirror is laying right here. I never put it back on. I don't use that mirror much. I use the side mirrors, but... This thing, all in all, a little vacuuming right here, and she would be clean as a pen. Uh, power windows, power locks. Of course, it's a five-speed manual. Uh, it's probably been less than, I bet it's less than a, a thousand, but let's say two or three thousand miles since I put a clutch in it. The front end has, re I hadn't put probably... 20 miles on this truck since I've had it and I've had it several years. Uh, I know the uh, front end's been rebuilt, ball joints and everything since I've had it. Of course it had the regular bed on it when I got it and we put the flat bed on it. Let's get in the front here so y'all can see the miles. Let's see if y'all can see that. Let me try to get this glare off of it. I can't see it through the camera, so 153,000. What's that say? Need to knock the dust off that a little bit, don't I? That's all it is a little dust. 153,235. This thing ain't got no miles on it. This is a nice truck, y'all. I mean, a really nice truck. You don't hear many people say AM, FM cassette anymore, do you? go around to the other side and look and then we'll go over a few things on the uh, outside here and we'll talk about the engine just a little bit boy I clean this thing up it makes me sick to think about getting rid of it but I just don't I ain't got to sell it but I just don't use it anymore of course it's got the husky liner mats there cup holders right there owner manual and everything in there Love the way these doors do. I've had them before this, for this year model, where you had to lean the seat forward to get to everything. This right here is just super, super handy. 
seat's not really, I mean, grown folks can ride back, back there, but it's not bad at all for kids. Uh, I put these steps on here. I think I got them things from Tractor Supply. I don't really, I'm not really crazy about the bars. I like these step heavy duty. They've done me really good. Oh, uh, let's see what else we go on. Let's see, I got the mileage, five speeds, got a brake controller. I'm not a salesman, but we'll go over it. I had it, when I got this truck, it, like I said, it had the factory bed on it. And I went up to Wren, Mississippi, Wren Body Works. Got them to put this bed on it. J and I bed, I believe is what they call that. Uh, this was just a standard flat bed. When I got it, there was a dog box on here that I took off. The two bolts in it. Somebody wants it, they can get the dog box. But I took it off to clean it up. That's why these rails are a little shorter because I loaded the dogs from the side. Uh, this thing ain't been used much. I mean, I want y'all to look inside this box. I mean, it just hadn't, it just hadn't been used. I mean, it's clean as a pen. These tires, shoot, I guarantee you they got less than 10,000, maybe 5,000 on it. What size are these things? I'm thinking they, what are they, 285s? Where's the size at on them? No, they are 315s. 315s, basically 35s. Of course, it's got the gooseneck hitch in it. Oh, one thing different, like I was saying, this is just a, just was your basic flatbed. And what I got them to do, they added all the boxes on the bottom, big boxes, and added this rail for me. Kind of acts like a fender flare, so to speak. Don't hardly get any mud on the side of the truck. I really like that. I'd done that on my 01 before I did this one. Lots of storage in this unit. Of course, it's got the receiver hitch. Plug up for the lights and the brake controller. Lots of storage in these boxes. You don't hardly need a, or I never needed a box on top. Of course, these rails will come off. Oh, um, no, these rails don't come. Do these rails come off? I done forgot. I done forgot. Yeah, but anyway, I got them to add these tabs here because I really didn't want to tailgate. You can take a 2 by 6 and cut it to fit across there. Drill your hole in it, stick these clips in it if you're worried about something sliding off the back. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me, I had to sneeze. Oh, um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? That's pretty much on the inside. Oh. When I got the truck, it had the bug deflector on it, and it had this bumper on it. Really, really nice bumper. I didn't want to change it. So I got my buddy Rick one day to fix it to hold a winch. This was not a winch model bumper. He built it, put a plate across there and all. Basically the bumper just kind of looks built around it now. But it's got a 10,000 pound traveler winch in it. Got that at track supply. Oh, trying to think what else. That's pretty much it on the outside. It is missing one mud cover on the right rear over there. Of course, it is a 2500. Um, trying to think what all we did to the engine. Now we put straight exhaust all the way to the back. I believe that's a four, four and a half inch pipe. Uh, put 100 horse injectors in it. Y'all don't quote me, I forget, it's been so long. Uh, I think it was, what, a 3,000, 4,000 RPM governor spring on it. Uh, it's got a, what they called a throttle, I think it was an adjustable throttle plate on it, like 50 to 150 horsepower or something. We just kind of set that thing in the middle. These things, these old 12 valves are a little sluggish, um, just straight from the factory. And I just wanted, I don't hot rod it or nothing, y'all know that. Uh, I just wanted it, if I pulled a little bit, to just have a little more pep in it and it's got plenty now I mean way more than I ever used I just I didn't hot rod this truck I don't hot rod hardly any of them but this one is this one is put together right uh, like I said I don't have to sell it but I just don't use it no more and I would love for somebody to get this thing that would use it because I mean it's a 
a definite daily driver. I mean, this thing is, it's super nice. I get to cleaning them up and all that. I hate to see them go. Uh, it could use a little bit of wiping down inside, but definitely not nasty like my Nissan and stuff is. This one just stayed pretty clean. Everything's real tight. It drives down the highway good. Oh, what else have we done? See, I told y'all I put a new clutch in it. Just a very few thousand miles ago. If it may not have a thousand miles since I just hadn't hadn't drove the thing. But there she is, my '98 12 valve Cummins extended cab, four wheel drive. I am uh, the price on this thing is gonna be very little negotiating on it. But the price I'm going to put on it's $20,000. I know that may sound kind of high for a 98, but you'll look long, long and hard before you find Because I know back when I got this one, I looked long. I mean, it was daily, daily looking for it, trying to find one that needs. Oh, yeah, one more thing I did do to it. Put the leveling kit on it, or either it was already on it. But it, it, regardless, if I put it on or whatever, it was. it's got one on it. But anyway... That's the price on it, so what I'm going to do on this thing, you can either go to our Hollis Farms website and email us or message us on Facebook if y'all are interested. I don't want any tire kickers. Uh, like I said, the price is going to be very, very little negotiating on that because I do like the truck, but I would like to, I would love to see somebody get this thing that watches our videos every day and and for sure somebody that appreciates these trucks because I, uh, I really like them. I just don't use it no more. I would rather see somebody get it and use the truck for what it needs to be used instead of just sitting around here collecting dust. It's just, just I don't pull a lot of stuff like I used to anymore. I used to use the black one a lot too. Uh, the old one... Uh, it just, I use the 16 Dodge and it's really hard when you uh, got a 2016 sitting over there and you got to travel a pretty good piece and, and haul. And I got it set up right now. I really like it. Basically, it's set up just like this 98. It's just newer. So, but anyway, that's the price on the truck. I hope I have e answered every question that you might have. I hope everybody watched the video all the way through instead of asking questions and didn't watch the video like I asked in the beginning but anyway I kind of hate to see her go but I would love somebody that watches my videos every day to get it and take it and use it like she's supposed to use it for but anyway there she is 20,000 appreciate y'all watching out of here <laughs>